Amanita muscaria, the fly agaric. This mushroom is probably one of the most well-known mushrooms in the world, famous for its red cap with white spots. This mushroom has appeared throughout various media and is probably one of the most common mushrooms in all of media. However, outside of its iconic appearance, Amanita muscaria is known for another thing, its hallucinogenic properties. Let's get into it. Amanita muscaria's common name is the fly agaric or fly amanita. Both the word agaric and amanita relate to its classification. This mushroom is a part of the genus Amanita, which contained around 600 agaric mushrooms. It gets the fly part in its name because it was said to have been sprinkled into milk to be used as a fly repellent. While the fly agaric is most known for being a red mushroom with white spots, it does have varieties, with different colorations such as yellow or orange. What Amanita muscaria is most known for, however, is its hallucinogenic properties, as mentioned in the intro. It gets these properties from two main chemical compounds, ibotenic acid and muscimol. Ibotenic acid plays a factor in the hallucinations by turning into muscimol once ingested. However, muscimol is the main agent here. Muscimol is a psychoactive which causes sedative, depressant, and hallucinogenic reactions. The effects of muscimol kick in 30 minutes to 120 minutes after ingestion. Users of it have stated they experienced euphoria and other pleasurable feelings. The negative side effects are usually nausea and increased salivation. While Amanita muscaria is listed as poisonous, nobody has been recorded dying from eating one, and it is generally considered safe. It has various legal status throughout the world, but it is legal in the United States. Although that does not mean all are legal in the United States. In fact, most are banned. Amanita muscaria, however, was left off the list. Amanita muscaria has quite a cultural significance. It was said to have inspired parts of Alice in Wonderland, and it's a reference for the mushrooms in Super Mario. Yes, Toad's head is essentially a psychoactive mushroom. However, the cultural impact of this mushroom is not isolated in media. In fact, it's been used by a variety of people over centuries, most notably the indigenous people of Siberia and the Sami people. It has a religious significance to these people. It was also believed that Amanita muscaria is what was behind Viking berserkers, since the mushroom was and still is found where settlements were. However, as mentioned earlier, the effects of ingesting it doesn't cause rage, usually. It usually causes the opposite, which is relaxation, not the desired effect of a berserker. While the Sami people, the native Siberians, and the now long gone berserkers all hailed from Europe and Asia, Amanita muscaria is found in many places being called a cosmopolitan species, which, as I mentioned in a few other videos, basically means it's found in most of the world. It is native to the Northern Hemisphere. Over time, it was unintentionally spread throughout the Southern Hemisphere, and now it's pretty much everywhere in different variations, of course. I hope you guys found this video interesting. I always love getting into species I don't usually cover. If you want more fun guide videos, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and take care.